Welcome to Let's Play All Fives Dominoes. Let's go ahead and start a new game here. Okay, we are playing to 150. The object of the game is to get points. You get uh, the edges need to be in increments of five. So this won't work. That's nine. Let's see. We could play. Actually, there is nothing we can play here. That oh, there is one that we can play. This is going to be worth five points. We'll take that. We want to try to score early and score often. So they got 10 points there. If we were to play this, that would be 16. So that's not going to give us points. Uh, that would be four. No points. No, Actually, we can't get points on any of these because there's no increment of five. Going to play the big one uh, to try to get a spinner in place. So there's potentially more uh, ways to score here. So let's see. That would be six. We don't want to play that. That's a nine. And it's a seven. So there's no way we could score here. I'm going to play one of the spinners. So we could possibly play the three zero later. Basically trying to give us more options here. That's going to be seven points either way. So no points there. <clears throat> That's going to be a seven as well. So no points available there. The edge is five. Our, our opponent got five points there. So our opponent's actually had 15 to five. And there's no way we can score here. So we'll just take that option there. Let's see. Only one option there. Cannot score there as well. Our opponent gets 10 points. And we're going to be drawing here. We cannot score there, and our opponent's out. So their opponent's going to get 10 bonus points on the round. And we'll move on to the next round. Okay, on to round number two here, and we're looking for ways to score increments of five again. I believe this 2-3 is going to be our first play, so it'll give us five points. Now we're up to 10 points. Our opponent has 35 of all the options, I believe this 2-2 two -two will work because they'll give us 10 points. The edge will be 10. Okay. Only one we can play is this double 4. Edge is 14. No points there. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's a 7. Can't play that. That's an 11. We're going to make the edge bigger by playing that. Though we could make also make a case for playing the 1 six one because we could play the one two we only really have one choice here we're going to play that now we have two different choice well three different choices uh there's a two and a four no points there let's see if this gives us that gives us no points we're going to play i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to try to run out of dominoes here even though it's not going to be worth a lot of points so i'm going to play the two and the one on the left side and that way we can play the one regardless. And in this case, we won't get any points. We may get a few points for what our opponent has if it's an anchor on the five. Uh, they have a double zero, so we get nothing there. Uh, but you want to try to score early. And yeah, yeah, basically score early, score often. Here we are, round three. Let's see what we have. We have, that would be a five, I believe, if we played that. Uh, this one does not show uh, accurately the first one. Uh, for some reason so let me look at the other combinations here that's a seven uh the one zero is going to be a two we're going to play the one three to the left that'll give us five points if for some reason it doesn't read it right on the first one in this uh but the other ones it does so uh that's seven points there don't want to play that uh, i'm going to play this two zero because we have a lot of zeros we could potentially play one of them uh not in this case let's see that's a nine we don't want to play that actually both options are going to be bad we're going to play the four five because we have a six and a five we can play either one of those uh, so we won't be stuck in this case uh let's see this option right here is a 13 so that's nothing 18 or 10 we're going to take the 10 because we want points that's increment of five there okay up to 35 now uh the spinner helps a little bit that gives us a lot more options uh we're going to be taking the one that gives us 15 that's going to be by the one six 
We're going to play that right there. The 5 1 right there. 15 points. <coughs> and now we're uh, getting slowly back into the game here. And this is, well, we can't do anything here. That's going to be 22. Our opponent has to draw. We could potentially, if we draw the right ones, we could potentially score some points in this round. Uh, potentially. And so we want to go with a 15 one, not the 10. That's going to be the 5 0 on the top right hand corner. All right, that's an 18. We don't want that. This is going to be 19. Um, we're going to play this just to, to see what happens here. Our opponent probably has to draw. Our opponent does. Now we're going to draw. And we'll see if we can get a lucky. Oh, nice. 20 points right there. And our opponent runs out, so they get five bonus points because we held, uh, it's rounded to the nearest five. We had six points, and I got rounded to five, so. Okay, here we are to start round number four, and we get really lucky. We have a ten-point combo right here. We're going to play that. That'll give us up to 95. Okay, we cannot score in this one, but we'll head to the edge there. Uh, let's see what we have. This is going to be worth six or eight. We don't want to play that. This will be worth five. Uh, four and one is going to be five. We're only playing two edges right now. Unless the spinner goes through, then there'd be more. Uh, two different options. Going to go with one, one. Just so we can play the one, six later for sure. Or the two, six. That's worth eight. That's worth eight. Let's play the 2-6 and the idea that our opponent does not have a 1. Although it's probably not going to help points-wise. Uh, 6 on the edge, so no points there. Our opponent gets 10 points, and unfortunately we cannot score. We're going to get a, maybe some bonus points, maybe not, depending on what our opponent holds. In this case, they had 8 points, I got rounded up to 10, so we got 10 points there. Okay, we're in round 5, and we have a double 5 or 10 point combo so we're going to play that right away again this is first to 150 wins so uh, this will be interesting here uh, it's 14 that's going to give us 10 points so we're going to play this one right here edge is 10 we're up to 130 so we're making a little comeback here that's four that's four as well uh, let's play the double two uh, we're going to play this this doesn't give us any points. Uh, same here, no points. Has to be increment of five. Uh, no points there. And it looks like we're gonna go to another round. We did manage to get five bonus points. Again, it's rounded to the jurors five. If it was seven, it got rounded down to five. If it was eight, it would have been 10 points. Starting round number six, we need 15 points to win. Unfortunately, none of these combos are going to give us the points we need. Debating between playing the 2-2 two -two and the 3-3. Three -three. I'm going to try the 2-2 two -two on the theory that their opponent will have something we can play. Okay, this is good. This works out really good. We can play this. This will give us 10 points. We need five more points to win, and it'll be all set. Let's see if this is it. Nope. Just need to score one more time. Our opponent scored 10 points there, so we got to score. Unfortunately, that's a 7, so that's not going to help. Let's see what we got here. That won't work. That's 6. That's a 3. Well, I'm going to play the double 0 on the theory that we could play uh, the 3 0 next, and uh, we keep the score low so our opponent can't score. We keep the edge low so our opponent can't score any big uh, point increments. Uh, here, unfortunately, we cannot score as well. And uh, we're going to draw. The reason we can play this is because there's a spinner. Uh, but unfortunately... We just need to find something that's an increment of 5. This happens to be worth 10 points right here. We're going to play it. And that's it. We win.